Dear students, in this screencast video lecture, we will try to understand how the microorganisms are nutritionally classified. For their classification, first we need to understand the following factors. One is a carbon and another one is energy. The third one is electron donor and the last one is electron acceptor. If you look at it to the carbon, based on the carbon requirement, microorganism can be referred as an autotrophic organism. That is the one which obtain their carbon from the atmosphere. That is, atmospheric carbon dioxide is fixed into cell carbon by these organisms. They are called as a autotrophic organism. Classical example is cyanobacteria, algae. In the higher organism, it is plant system. The next one is a heterotrophic organism. It refers to those organisms that use a preformed carbon. That is, they cannot be able to fix the atmospheric carbon dioxide into cell carbon, but they can able to use the preformed carbon. Very simple example is using of a glucose. It can be used as a carbon source by most of the organism. Even the simple bacteria that is E. coli and fungi, they can able to use glucose as a carbon source. And from there the metabolism will be starting. So these group of organisms, this includes the higher organisms such as a human, they are also coming under the heterotrophic group. The next one important factor that decides the nutrition classification is energy. Energy can be obtained from the sunlight. Those organisms are referred as a photosynthesis or phototrophic organisms. Whereas other group of organisms that can be able to obtain their energy from the chemicals, say they can be of an organic or sometimes they can obtain their energy from the inorganic. Classical example of inorganic energy obtaining is actually aerobic sulfur oxidizing bacteria that commonly dwells or present there in the hydrothermal vent ecosystems. They are all undergoing the process of hemosynthesis that is chemical serve as an energy for this particular organisms. The next one is the electron donor. Electron donor can be of an organic compounds in nature in which they are referred as organotrophic whereas when it is of a inorganic in nature, electron donor molecule is of a inorganic in nature, they are referred as a lithotrophic organisms. The last important factor that is required for the nutritional classification is the electron acceptor. Usually oxygen will be serving as a terminal electron acceptor molecule in most of the living organism, including the humans. In the bacteria, an example for an aerobic that is oxygen serving as an electron acceptor and aerobically respiring organism is micrococcus. Whereas there is another group called as an anaerobically respiring organism. These are the organisms in which the oxygen will be replaced with certain other oxidized inorganic compounds that serve as a terminal electron acceptor during the process of respiration. A classical example is E. coli that can able to use nitrite and convert it to nitrate during the process of anaerobic respiration. And even the next example is salmonella organism that can able to use sulfate as a terminal electron acceptor and it is getting reduced into hydrogen sulfate during the process of the respiration. Apart from this aerobic and anaerobic respiration, there is another form which is referred as a fermentative group of organisms. It refers to those organisms in which there is no external electron acceptor as that of the aerobic or anaerobic respiration is required. That is, no external electron acceptor is required. Organic compounds itself serve as a electron donor and electron acceptor during the process of the fermentation. Here the typical example is Streptococcus lactis that is using the organic compound especially the pyruvate and succinic acid during the process of fermentation. Now we look at how the combination of these two factors that is all the four factors and how they help with the classification. Say first one is the primarily based on energy as a classification model in which the microorganisms can be classified as a phototrophs and hemotrophs. Simple meaning phototrophs those that are obtaining their energy from the sunlight. Hemotrophs are those that are obtaining their energy from the chemicals. It can be of an organic or inorganic. When inorganic serving as an energy, it is referred as a hemosynthesis, which we have already read. The next one is classification based on the factor of carbon. Here it is referred as autotroph and heterotroph. We already seen an example and the 
meaning for these two terms. And the third one is an important classification which you need to know in a little bit detailed way. That is, based on energy and carbon, microorganisms can be classified into autotrophs and heterotrophs. They have been subclassified into photoautotrophs and hemoautotrophs. Photoheterotrophs, which are also referred as a photoorganotrophs, and the next one is the hemoheterotrophs that are also referred as a hemoorganotrophs. So, among the bacteria, these four nutritional subcategories of classification is very important from the examination point of view. They may try to ask some questions related to all these four groups of organisms. Now, we look at the examples there and then the explanation. Photoautotrophs, example is an algae. Photoautotrophs are those that obtain their energy from the sunlight and the carbon is being obtained from the carbon dioxide. That is the reason they are referred as a photoautotrophs. Example is algae or cyanobacteria. Then comes the hemoautotrophs. Hemoautotrophs are those organisms that obtain their energy from the chemical compounds. That is acidithiobasal is a sulfur oxidizing bacteria that can able to use sulfur as an energy molecule. At the same time, this organism capable of reducing the atmospheric carbon dioxide into cell carbon. That is the reason it is referred as a hemoautotrophs. And the next one, the subcategories of the heterotrophs. First one is a photoheterotrophs or photoorganotrophs. The meaning for this is photo refers to sunlight. That is, they obtain their energy from sunlight. Heterotrophs refers to carbon acquiring. That is mainly from the organic sources. Especially the photoheterotrophs classical examples are sulfur oxidizing colorful bacteria such as rhodospirulum that can able to use acetate as a carbon source but energy can be obtained from the sunlight. And the last one is a hemoheterotrophs or hemoarmotrophic organism. They are able to get their energy and carbon only from the organic compound. Classical example is a E. coli that can able to use the glucose as an energy as well as carbon source for building up or, or for the multiplication of that organism. Now, we try to look at the additional points related to these four different groups of the nutritional classification of the organism, mainly photoautotrophs, photoautotroph, hemoautotroph and hemoautotroph. First, we will try to look at the points related to the photoautotroph. Photoautotrophs, photo meaning the light and auto meaning the self and drop meaning the feeding. That is using light as energy and carbon is obtained from the atmospheric carbon dioxide that is feeded directly. That is a feeding, that is trough. Photoautotrophs use light as their source of energy and carbon dioxide as a source of the carbon. An obligate photoautotroph is an organism that will grow only in the presence of both sunlight and carbon dioxide. Obligate photoautotrophs use inorganic such as water, hydrogen or hydrogen sulphide as an electron donor. And they can able to reduce carbon dioxide into cellular carbon that is into the carbohydrate. Classical example is cyanobacteria. An example for cyanobacteria is anabina that is an oxygenic phototrophic organism. An example in which you can able to see the photosynthesis process operating under which oxygen has been evolved. That is the reason it is referred as an oxygenic photosynthetic organism. Even green plants are example for oxygenic photosynthetic organism. The next example for a photototroph is a chromatium, which is also referred as a purple sulfur bacteria. That is it will be a purple and colorful sulfur bacteria. That is the one in which Hydrogen sulfide is serving as an electron donor molecule. As a result, oxygen will not be evolved. So, this organism is a typical example for an oxygenic group of photosynthetic organism. Now, we look at the explanation for the next group that is photoheterotroph. Hetero meaning different. That is, two different things are being present here. So, it has been very symbolically represented as a hetero. Photoheterotrophs grow by photosynthesis. If provided with an electron donor, that is hydrogen or organic compounds, that can help in the reductive assimilation of carbon dioxide. Meaning, energy can be obtained from sunlight, whereas 
when certain suitable electron donor have been available they can also able to assimilate the carbon dioxide into cell carbon commonly this organism require growth factors such as b vitamin for their growth several species has the ability to grow on organic substrate if oxygen is available in an environment some species can also able to utilize light as a energy source while assimilating organic compounds especially acetate as a organic compound for their environmental growth so sunlight is serving as an energy whereas organic compound acetate is serving as a carbon substrate for the growth of this organism here the right example is rhodobacter as well as rhodospirella now we look at the points related to the hemoautotroph that is the third different classification of the organism based on the chemical compound what it is utilizing and the autotrophic property so hemo meaning chemical hemo autotrophs utilize reduced inorganic substrate for their growth that is for the reductive assimilation of carbon dioxide that is they use inorganic compound as an electron donor and carbon dioxide can be assimilated as a cell carbon so here the inorganic compound serve as a energy as well as electron donor the oxidation of hydrogen ammonia nitrate hydrogen sulfide and ferrous ion supplies energy for this microorganism in growth say for example hydrogen oxidizing organisms are referred as a hydrogen bacteria ammonia oxidizers could be existing there then hydrogen sulfide oxidizers are classical examples for sulfur oxidizing bacteria during the oxidation of this process they are getting a lot of energy there the aerobic hemoautotrophic bacteria utilize oxygen as a terminal electron acceptor some of the anaerobic archaea can able to utilize inorganic sulfur as a terminal electron acceptor during the process the process of using this chemical compounds as an energy source is typically referred as a hemosynthesis process example for the bacteria that falls under this category are acidic thiobases that is a classical sulfur oxidizing bacteria and nitrosomonas that is a ammonia oxidizing bacteria and the last important group that is based on the nutrition classification is a hemoheterotroph hemoheterotrophs are those microorganisms that can able to assimilate organic substrates that is they can able to use organic substrate as both carbon and energy for the growth of this organism here the typical example is using of glucose or succinate as a carbon source and energy for the growth of the organism or sometime the carbon source and energy may be different in an organism for example sulfate reducers use hydrogen as an energy source for their growth whereas they use organic substrate as a carbon for cellular biosynthesis process most of the microorganism that exists in the earth could be falling under this category that is hemoheterotrophic group of organism apart from bacteria all the fungi are coming under the hemoheterotrophic group of organism in the higher organism human as well as the other living organism are also need to be considered as a hemoheterotrophic nature